check, check, check. One, two, three, check, check, check. One, two, three. All right. Welcome everyone. My name is Nick Carter and today is Nick Carter Day. I had a couple thoughts for what this episode would be about and after a somewhat a little bit heated discussion with Parker about of course the election politics which I wasn't going to mention, I'll mention them a little bit. Uh, the only thing that I'll mention is that I definitely support liberal ideals. Um, I do not support most of the policies put forward by Donald Trump. However, I believe that a lot of people are typecasting half of America as racist, misogynist, blah blah blah, and all that stuff because just because they voted for Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump himself um, is possibly a racist, possibly a misogynist. I don't have hard proof, but I have pretty good proof of all of that. Um, and I think some of his supporters are racist and misogynist. However, I think that everyone who is almost everyone, a lot of people, especially on Facebook, who are absolutely shocked about this and who are you know, just not even going against Trump, but going against Trump supporters are putting everybody into a pen and saying that every single Trump supporter is racist and misogynist because they voted for this candidate. I believe that is wrong. I don't even believe the majority of Americans, you know, hated having a black president or anything like that. I just think they disagreed with his policies. I think they disagreed with Hillary Clinton. And I think they voted against Hillary Clinton, um, which happened to be Donald Trump. So now that that's out of the way, let me tell you how today is going to go. Um, I Everybody needs to take a little chill pill right now, so what I am going to do is I'm going to play just a nice assortment of relatively chill music, just some really good music, and I'm going to do my absolute best to find the very most interesting Wikipedia articles, and I'm going to introduce you to them, and I'm going to help tell you about them. So. Here we go. Let's see. The very first song of Nick Carter Day is going to be the Yeah Yeah Yeahs with their song Soft Shock. However, it's going to be the acoustic version. Listen up and enjoy. I totally forgot to mention, for some extremely weird reason, all the audio in the studio is extremely slowed down and it sounds absolutely disgusting. Uh, if that is the case on the air, which I will check, um, sucks because this is a weird problem. I told Lynn and he was like, what? And that is usually a sign that nobody has any idea what's going on right now. So I will do my best. Uh, you do your best to be a good listener and I'll see you soon. And that was Soft Shock, the acoustic version by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. So the first thing that I would like to talk about, which is actually what got um, me interested in this concept, a little bit of rearranging for your benefit. Um, the first thing that got me interested in this concept was something called the underarm bowling incident of 1981. So this is a sports event. This is a massive, massive controversy between Australia and New Zealand. And one, uh, they were playing cricket. Um, the rules of cricket are very complicated. I can't really explain them right here. But essentially all you need to know is that generally the pitcher, which is called a bowler, the bowler will throw the ball very hard, have it bounce off the ground once, and then the striker, who is like the batter in cricket, will try and hit it. Um, the farther they hit it, the more likely they are to get points. And the more points that they can get, you know, depending, blah, 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 all that stuff. There was a massive controversy where uh, one of, okay, New Zealand required uh, a six to tie the match. Uh, just ignore that. They just needed to hit it really far and then they would tie the match and uh, hopefully go on to win. However, uh, the captain of the Australia team told the bowler, who was the pitcher, um, to bowl it, to pitch it underhand, which means just rolling it along the ground, which is almost a guaranteed hit, but has absolutely no chance of going far enough for anything to happen. Uh, this was technically legal at the time, however, it was only legal in, you know, these Australia-New Zealand rules. And it was a absolute massive controversy because 
It was, you know, it was like in the Super Bowl if someone did something super, super hated or something and it wasn't illegal and everyone just hated them for a while after and apparently people still talk about it every once in a while. So that is that I would highly recommend looking at the Wikipedia article on the underarm bowling incident of 1981. And now for our next song, one of the chillest Frenchest songs on this playlist is uh, Tau de Simon or something, I don't know. It's by Feist, it's the whole thing's in French. Uh, here it is. Stop me from automatically recording my movie and I'm telling it to shut up. So, let's see. There is another extremely interesting uh, Wikipedia article that I would like to um, tell to you guys. But I need to continue to read it because I read it a while ago and I can't remember um, what it is about. So I'm going to go do something else. Um, I am going to look at, well, there's the 1% rule, which says that only 1% of internet culture actually creates anything. Um, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. There's the uh, list of groups of animals. Um, there are multiple, actually interesting, there are multiple uh, ones. Um, you have a, a herd of asses, a, a drove of asses when they're driven uh, by potentially an ass, uh, depending on how nice their driver is. Or a, 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 a passé of asses, a passas, uh, as I like to call it. All of these are, of course, about donkeys. Um, let's see, you got a convocation of eagles, that's interesting. Uh, you got a stand of flamingos, that's funny because they stand on one leg. You got an army of frogs, that's funny because they uh, took over France that one time. You got a flock of goats, uh, which are coincidentally not sheep. You have a rasp of guinea fowl. I don't have much of a joke about that. You got a cloud of grasshoppers, which actually sounds goddamn horrifying considering. Uh, you got a herd of hearts. Uh, you also got a heart of herds. Uh, different, different thing. Uh, a siege of herons, and I have absolutely goddamn no idea how in the world a heron would pull off a successful siege. Uh, they have failed multiple times. Let's see, a herd, you got a clattering, oh, you got that clattering, a uh, troop of kangaroos, you also got a mob of kangaroos, uh, you have a shit ton of different words for a magpie, a charm con congregation, galt, murder, tiding, tittering, uh, very surprising, you have uh, a, oh my god, you have a barrel of monkeys, a cartload of monkeys, a tribe of monkeys, a troop of monkeys, and a wilderness of monkeys, which is a weird uh, way. Uh, that is just about all that I'm going to say at the moment, and I'm going to pl oh. You have a herd of sea urchins. That is something that I never thought would ever exist. Oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on. You got a lot of swans. Alright, all the words for a group of swans. <clears throat> Bank, bevy, drift, error, flight, game, herd, lamentation, Sounder, Team Wedge, and Witting. Uh, that is it. The next song that we are going to play is called Gold in the Air, and the artist is Jesse Woods. Please enjoy. And that was a massively, annoyingly slowed down version of Here Now by artist Wild Child. Uh, earlier you heard the song Gold in the Air by Jesse Woods, also massively and annoyingly slowed down. So as promised, I am going to go back to that very interesting thing, and I apologize if anyone has heard of this before, but it's the ice skating rivalry between Nancy Kerrigan and Ta Tanya Harding. Um, I'll just call them Nancy and Tanya for ease. Essentially. They were both ice skaters, they were both amazing U.S. ice skaters going to the Olympics, blah blah blah, something like that. Anyway, there was a Tanya Harding, no, no, sorry, Nancy Kerrigan was this amazing, just fantastic ice skater, uh, women, U.S. women's.